Good afternoon. My name is Robbie Davis, and today on Spot on Sports, I have with me Director of Athletics with Hampton City Schools, Beth Mayer. Ms. Mayer, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Robbie. Wonderful, Thank wonderful. you. Wonderful. Today we'll be discussing the uh, new Virginia High School League uh, realignment, uh, reclassification yes. uh, rules and changes. Mm -hmm. um, why is the Virginia High School League changing alignment of schools within the league this year? That's probably the biggest question that everyone has. I mean, why fix something that's not broken? Um, but what they were trying to do is to get some, uh, the schools to play the other schools in the state that have the same enrollment. Okay. For example, if you had a Phoebus, their enrollment, they would, they're a lot lower than Hampton and Bethel mm -hmm. and Kickatin, yet they were competing with several of them. And so now Phoebus will be playing with the schools in Virginia that have the same enrollment Okay. close to. Okay. And has the new structure of reclassification been tried in other states? And it if, has. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, and, and, and if so, um, was it successful? Yes, it has okay. been tried in several states. And I, the way they're talking, the, the executive director of the VHSL, mm -hmm. is that's where they picked it, the ideas up. They just said that there was so many great things that were coming out of it. Mm -hmm. There were more championships. It, people felt better. One other thing that I forgot to mention why they realigned is that you had a lot of smaller schools in Northern Virginia that were comp traveling a long distance mm -hmm. to compete with the districts that had been set up. And mm -hmm. so therefore that took care of that. And in Illinois, for example, they say that it has been very successful. So. Wonderful. Now, in, in the city of Hampton, we have four great schools, Ham Phoebus High School, Hampton, mm -hmm. Bethel, and Kigatan, and all four are very competitive against each other. Yes. With that competitiveness, will all four high schools still be in what we know as the Peninsula District? Yes, they will be in the Peninsula District. The Peninsula okay. District is still going to be a around. It will mm -hmm. be here. Um, after the Peninsula District, after you go into postseason, that's when it will change. Okay. But the Peninsula District will be the same. It's the same five Newport News schools, okay. the four Hampton schools, the one Gloucester school, and they will be competing. There will be no Peninsula District championship or tournament, so okay. to speak. Um, and that's, that's a big change because a lot of people, our fan base especially, love to go out to the PD tournaments. Right, right. So after mm -hmm. the regular season, the next step will be then there will be conference. Conference, the okay. Conference. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So will the, will the new realignment affect both the regular season and postseason play then? Yes. The, the realignment was mainly focused to change the postseason. Okay. However, when the conferences started to get together and they decided, all right, let's start making our handbooks, let's get mm -hmm. all this going on, they decided that um, Instead of waiting to compete against the people you're going to see in the conference, right. they started. They decided that they would split their regular season. I think we're going to talk about that. Split the regular season so you play Peninsula District teams on the top, okay. and then on the bottom half of your schedule, you would play the conference teams, the okay. people that you're going to see in postseason. Right. I have, I brought with me Kikatan's fall schedule. Okay. And. That's a good example of it. Now, when you look at the varsity football schedule, you'll notice that there are 10 games and they, they don't play conference people per se because football, you only have 10 games. Correct, right. But now if you look at a volleyball schedule, mm -hmm. a basketball schedule, soccer, baseball, they all have the 18 plus, right. okay? Mm -hmm. now, those teams that play normally, you would play two times then they're only going to play the Peninsula District teams one time, okay. and then they'll start playing conference. Okay. okay? Gotcha. So, for example, the volleyball for Kikatin, they'll go all the way up to Bethel on September 26th, and then they'll start with Oscar Smith, Western Branch, uh, Grassfield. Those are their conference. Right. And then okay. the conference tournament will come in. So the conference now is really wide open and going across the water and playing teams across the water now. Yes, so. sir. Yes, wonderful. sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so how will the Virginia High School League reclassification affect the regular season schedules? Okay, that is basically where that came in, okay. is okay. that the Peninsula District schedules will stay the same if you're only playing the Peninsula teams once, okay. but if you've always played them twice, then you'll, you will go back and play them the Peninsula District once, like in this volleyball, and then play the conference teams 
once if you can get a game. Okay. So in the postseason, that will be room for more traveling then in postseason play, yes. correct? Yes, postseason okay. and uh, regular season will have more um, travel. That was one of the things that we had to adjust. Um, for example, it, I brought along the alignment plan from the Virginia High School League. Uh, 6A South is Conference 2. Bethel and Kikatan will be in that. Okay. Now they will play Woodside, which is just down the road. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, they're going to have to go across the water to Grassfield, Oscar Smith, and Western Branch. Okay. Conference 10, which is 5A, that's going to be Hampton. Hampton's going to play a little bit around here, like mm -hmm. Gloucester, Menchville, and Warwick, but then they'll, they'll go across the river to, or across the way to Great Bridge, Hickory, and Indian River. Phoebus will play Denby, which is Conference 18, mm -hmm. and Heritage, and then they'll go across the water for Kings Fork, Lakeland, and Nasman River. Okay, okay. So, so there, there's a possibility that there can be three or four schools possibly in, in Hampton that can get a championship this uh, coming season. Then. Yes, because you have six, you'll have the Division Six, Division Five, and Division Four. Okay. Let's just say, for example, the Phoebus basketball team girls go all the way to state and they mm -hmm. win. Mm -hmm. Then they'll be the 4A champions. Okay. And if Hampton's girls do the same thing in their conference and then they go to region, then they will be the champions. And then the same with Kick Tanner Bethel if they did it. All right. So how will the Virginia High School League reclassification affect the postseason for our four schools? Okay, good question. Again, I'm going to look at the alignment plan and try okay. to talk to you about it. Um, you have conference in South, 6A South, you have conference 1, 2, 3, and 4. After your, your regular season uh, schedule, you'll, start, you'll play a conference tournament. So, for example, Bethel and Kicktan, Woodside, Grassfield, Oscar Smith, and Western Branch will all get together and they'll have a conference tournament. Okay. The top two out of that conference will go to a regional. Okay. So, if you look at the line of South 6A South, you have Conference 1, Conference 2, Conference 3, Conference 4, four conferences. Mm -hmm. If each of them take two people to the region, you have an eight-team region. Okay. Okay? Then at the region, You'll have, you know, your regular tournament. Whoever gets the top two or top three, depends on what they decide, they will go to the state tournament. Okay. And so it would be the same with 5A and 4A. And one thing I did, I did not mention is after you win your conference, if you look at this alignment mm -hmm. schedule, you'll see that the South would then go, the South, the eight South winners mm -hmm. from their conferences would play the eighth north winners. Okay. I hope that makes sense and it, it doesn't confuse it everybody. Right, right, right. Yes, ma'am, <laughs> understand, yeah, definitely. So what, so what do you feel will be the main difference for our athletes mm -hmm. as, and our coaches? For, I think the, the main difference that we're looking at is, from my perspective, is the budget. We okay. will have more travel expenses to pay mm -hmm. because we're going across the water for sometimes several times for each season mm -hmm. or for each sport and then the postseason travel will also be a lot because now we're going even further and we'll be going to tournaments okay. um, as far as players players will be subjected to schools that have the same enrollment so they have the same base the same population mm -hmm. base that Phoebus or whoever has so it, it's more of a fair matchup right. so it may be where you might feel, well, goodness gracious, we, as a basketball team, we could play these top schools with all these, this enrollment, and we're, we're really that good. Right, but right. then you have to step back and you have to say, what about our softball team? What about our mm -hmm. tennis team? Mm -hmm. What about our swimming team? Those people also should be subjected to the people, to the schools that have the same enrollment. Therefore, it's, it's a fair shot. Coaches, I think they'll find that when they go across the water, as they know, that uh, they're really good in Chesapeake yeah. and Virginia Beach, yeah. and that's where we'll be headed. Right. And so they're going to see probably stiffer competition right away. Right. right. And one other thing that I wanted to say to the Hampton uh, community is this, is that even though, like I was telling you about the, um, you, you play the Peninsula Districts one time and then you go to the conference team, mm -hmm want everyone to know that the rivals like when Hampton will play Bethel twice every time they're not gonna we're not gonna take that game away because mm -hmm. it's a Hampton community thing 
Hampton teams will always play the other Hamptons teams twice. Okay. If okay. that calls for them. Okay. Okay. I hope that makes sense too, Robbie. It does. I hope it I'm does. not throwing no, you off. No, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. It, it's, it's definitely all making sense. Thank okay. You. Good. Our last question: Are we in Hampton City Schools prepared for this reclassification change? Yes, we are. The athletic directors have been doing a phenomenal job. They've been traveling all over the state, going to conference regional mm -hmm. meetings, trying to set up the handbooks and the schedules and just the basic rules because right. you're really starting from scratch. And the ADs have risen up to the challenge and they have gone and done what we needed them to do. Um, from the standpoint of the school board down to superintendent and my office, we are ready, we're excited about it. We're, we think that it's gonna bring, open up a lot of new challenges and opportunities. Great, so. great. And, and just one more thing, is there anywhere online where, where our viewers can go to get this information and mm -hmm. maybe the VHSL or something? Yes, you can go online and go to the Virginia High School League and okay. you'll see right there on the top it says classification. You can click on that and on the very bottom one it says final approved Reef classification, uh -huh. that's the one you want. Okay. However, the fans in, in Hampton, we will have this on the spot on sports. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see it, and then it'll also be on our website in Hampton okay. City Schools. Great. Great. They'll be able to see the fall schedules, hopefully by the end of this month. Okay. And they'll be able to see the realignment by going to my page. Wonderful, okay? wonderful. Well, Ms. Mayor, I would definitely like to say thank you for sharing all this wonderful information with us. Mm -hmm. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching Spot on Sports. Have a great day.